everybody, it's Alejandra from the Osceola Library System and welcome to this week's Take and Make, where I'm going to show you how to make bubble tea or boba tea. So for those of you who don't know, bubble tea is a drink that originates from Taiwan and has recently become very popular worldwide. Um, take and Make kits are available one week prior to our live show, so if you had a chance to pick up a kit, you can go ahead and follow along with me with the supplies included in your kit. If not, what you're going to need to make this tasty beverage is some boba or tapioca pearls. So they do come like this, sort of dried. You'll be able to see once we get closer. So some boba and they just come also in a microwavable format, which is a little bit easier to prepare. Um, you'll need some tea of your choice. Uh, boba tea is usually made with black tea or jasmine tea. So I have some lightly steeped black tea because I'm not a huge fan of very strong black tea. Um, you'll need some milk or milk substitute, so I have almond milk, but you can use soy milk, regular milk, whatever you prefer. Um, I have some honey as my sweetener of choice, but you can also use sugar or agave syrup or no sweetener if you prefer. And then definitely a wide straw, so you can um, also eat the boba as you're drinking your tea. And then some ice, if you would like it as an iced beverage, although this is traditionally an iced beverage. So I think that's it. So we can go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is prepare your boba according to the directions on the packaging. So my boba, if I can get it out, it looks like this before it's cooked. And then after it's cooked, it should look like this. So for my directions, I would need to go ahead and put my boba in a pot of boiling water and just boil it until they float to the top and then let it just cook for another couple minutes. And then once it's cooked, just set it in some cold water. So I can definitely um, show you the instructions there, but that's pretty much what it says. And this should only take about five minutes to prepare. And then like I said, when you're done, it should look something like this. And like the texture is very sticky and like squishy. But you can also obviously cook it to your preferred texture if you want it softer or a little bit more firm. And then you can also buy, like I said, microwavable boba that comes in a package about this big. And then you just put it in the microwave and microwave it for a few minutes and it pretty much comes out to the same texture. So once your boba is cooked, rested, cool, you can add sweetener to your boba if you want it to be flavored. And then you would need to brew some tea. Like I said, I have some black tea here that's been brewed just for a few minutes so it's not super dark. And then I added a sweetener to this. I added honey while it was still hot and mixed it. And again, uh, jasmine tea is also a great alternative if you don't want a caffeinated tea. So now that we have these things prepared, we're going to go ahead and scoop in my boba into my cup here. So the first thing you want to do obviously is add in your cooled boba because you do want that to be at the very bottom so you can eat them up with your straw. And you do really only want to make as much as you're going to eat because this does not keep very well. I would say if you stick this in the fridge, it gets pretty hard within a few minutes, so you, it's pretty much unusable after that. So after that, we can add our tea. I find this drink to be very refreshing. Okay, I think that's about enough tea. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add my milk substitute. Like I said, I'm using almond milk. I think that's enough. I just love how it looks too with little bobas at the bottom. And I will add my ice cubes. You can certainly make a more fruity boba tea as well if you use a fruit tea. There's a lot of options here. But this is kind of more just a, a regular old boba tea. And there we go. And we just add our wide straw. And you can go ahead and enjoy your very refreshing, delicious beverage. Thanks so much for joining me, everybody. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Our next Take and Make is going to be Wednesday, April 28th, where I'm going to teach you how to make a mini hanging macrame planter. It's going to be super cute. If you wanted to check out some more books about tea and tea making, I would definitely suggest this book, Healing Herbal Teas. It has uh, 101 like recipes for herbal teas, as well as this one, New Taste in Green Tea. So if you're a fan of green tea, this is a great book to pick up. Make sure you check out our website, osceolalibrary.org, for more information about our fun programs and services. Thanks so much, guys. See you next time.